Rutenante Habiakale, who led the CRAP called Somalia in the FDRL, was killed in the battle in Tongo by M23. This was confirmed by one of the civil society leaders in the Tongo area in the Ruturu territory in North Kivu province. In an interview where this leader explained how the fighting went yesterday and testified that most of the federal soldiers and FODC were killed in the area where Tongo meets Mulimbi, this area is where they found the body of the deceased Rutenanti Habiakale. One of the former FDRL sword officers in the Mutobo camp, who did not want his name to be published, say that the deceased was one of the officers of the Mwamba. Colonel Silikov was in charge, where he said, except for Lieutenant Noheli, Captain Inkondosi, and Lieutenant Habiakale, I don't see anyone else doing what the deceased did because the Colonel. Luhinda, they are talking about, is already old. Rudenanti Habiakale killed more than 20 soldiers, all of whom were killed in the Kisangani area where they had attacked the M23 group in their various bases and found the M23 group lying down and received them. M23 has continued to conquer various areas and the Wazarendo is already heartbroken. M23 has captured the area of Rugalama, which is located in the groupment of Rusanza. After capturing Lugarama, they captured other areas including Buseneze in Tongo groupment in the territory of Ruchuru. This also continued in the afternoon when the sound of heavy and light guns began to slow down, but these fighters joined forces with the hard forces who continued to flee the areas where there was no fighting. Civil society in those areas announced that many refugees who had fled the fighting in Itongo and Busanza areas have arrived in Ibambo again. Many of the Wazalendo are said to have been injured and others have also have lost their lives. In the information provided by the Wazalendos, when they talked to the media, they said that they lost many of their fighters, but the ones they know for sure are four. But this may not be true because they have lost many people and do not know where they are. A resident of Ruchuru told our sources that there was a land of patients fled the village because they were, they were disheartened by what had happened. He added, what I saw with my own eyes was that some of them ran away. Many of them had dropped their guns. In the language of Zalendo people, it is clear that they have lost confidence and some have agreed to declare that the results of the fighting have returned to their homes.